Hello everyone and welcome to a different check for the council. This is going to be one where we either stay and listen to Washington or we're going to discover what Holm knows about our mother. In my original playthrough, I stayed and listened to Washington and we, Miss Duchess was there as well. But now I'm going to go and see what Holm knows about my mother and see what that's all about. And we're also with his eminence, Mr. Piaggi here. My vision is more important. Let's follow Holm. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holm. I shall see you later. Oh, huh. he doesn't look like he's taken that well. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he would oh. recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. I need politics? Ah. Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Mm, Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. Yeah, what's the story? Would you have any information about the disappearance of my mother? Ah, uh, very little, I'm afraid, my young friend. Your mother came at the invitation of Lord Mortimer. Then one fine day, we couldn't find her anywhere. That's it? As I said, I don't know very much. Lord Mortimer had the entire area searched immediately. We found no clue as to her disappearance. But I am convinced that as soon as Lord Mortimer becomes available, he will explain the situation. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. <laughs> Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. Well, what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No. You were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought, never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? Ooh, another question here. Hmm, who would have held a grudge against my mother? Uh oh, is there anyone else missing other than my mother? What's the link between Hillsboro? And what did my mother come here for? Oh boy, so... Grudge feels kind of weird. Is anyone else missing might be interesting. Do you know if anyone else has gone missing recently? Not at all, sir. It's as if Sarah has purely and simply vanished into thin air. That's right. Just take me for an idiot, why don't you? Not even a servant, then. Not even a servant. I can assure you, we would have been informed. Keep your faith, my son. Only the celebrated Sara de Rice could vanish before our very eyes. And she will reappear. You will see. No! Elizabeth! Miss Adams is losing her crap again, man. I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. Am I? <laughs> Miss, can, can you hear me? Leave me. I'll observe the young lady. Her breathing is becoming stable and... I don't know. Her heart rate, too. How do you know? Did you touch her? Her fingers? Pale complexion, thin, broken nails, an enormous scar on her temple, tattoos on her hands. I don't know what happened to you, Missy, but it looks like you've been through hell. Interesting. Can you tell me something about her? Uh, no, who is she? Who is this young lady? Elizabeth Adams. She's come to the island for a course of treatment, to rest. Interesting. For a course of treatment? That's right. The seer can do wonders. Are you all right, Elizabeth? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Uh, four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. Hmm. Holmes, uh... Face makeup isn't really the best thing I've- uh-oh. This, I guess? 
She's just regained Did consciousness and she immediately reaches for her brooch. I don't know exactly what it means to her, but obviously it's got to be something important. Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me... I just need to get back to my room. One thing I want to say about this, when we're in the middle of this difference check, is there's so many different ways to play through this in terms of your skills. If I was the occult or if I was the, the politician, I don't really know what that class is called, I can't remember off the top of my head, or I'm the detective right now in this playthrough, there's so many different ways that your skills can play out in each scenario. So there's like three different ways of each of the two paths on each major choice like this, at minimum. So it's pretty interesting. Now you can expand your skill set by using your skill points, but that takes a little while. You don't have all of these in the beginning. So it gets it's pretty important right away. So it's a lot to think about here with these choices here. Like you can see I've missed politics and I've missed vigilance, that type of stuff. It might just be dialogue things, but maybe it'll matter. It's really hard to tell. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? He's saying it. De la bestia. Eh? Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Uh. Ah, forget it. It doesn't matter. Uh. Gentlemen, it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. I am missing so many opportunities off of what skill tree is it? Can I even look? There's a skill tree right here that I am just missing so much out of. Politics, linguistics, Oh my god, so often am I getting hit by those. Uh, like, I'm not even using these. I mean, I've used a couple of these, but not really. It's more so the politics here, because everybody's just so chatty. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, it's okay, I guess. So, is that it? I can't quite remember. Now, I think we're going to cycle back here. It's all the more delicate. Oh. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Oh! Okay, interesting. And so, that must have been what happened. Okay, that makes sense now. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. He's like, what's going on here? Is that all that there is? Is this one right here? I keep missing skills vigilance. Oh my god. Okay, what is that skill? I feel like I want to go back and just freaking have that talent tree because we're, yeah, where's vigilance? Oh, well, it's not even over here. Where the hell is vigilance? Huh? I just feel like I'm missing so much here, but where the heck is vigilance? It's not even in any of these. No? Wait, what? I have vigilance. What are you talking about? How come I'm not getting these? Oh, it's Weird. naughty to tell lies. I bet my life that you were talking about something totally different from the decoration of the manor. But to find out what, I should have stayed with them. Too bad. <laughs> you made Your a bad choice. Your is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. So, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. Oh my god, the She spit. would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? I'm missing so many skills right now. Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridor. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Washington hey! looks surprised, but home doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Right, okay. Well, this was... What happens if you go and you go with home? 
Now I'm going to show you what I did in my original playthrough where I was playing as the occult specialty. And I went and I stayed with Mr. Washington. I kind of like staying with Washington a little bit more, not going to lie. But perhaps if I had the politics trait and, you know, all those other traits within the... The linguistics type category where you're really good at, you know, diplomat category, I believe is what it's called. Then perhaps that would have been more interesting, I feel. Either way, here's what I did in my original playthrough where I chose to stay with Washington. I'm hanging out with George Washington. It's not, <laughs> it's not even debatable. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. What's up, Georgie? Thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Oh my god, what's it like being president? Where does Emily know my mother from? Tell me more about this Mortimer. Oh god. Why would I just talk to Emily? I feel weird. That's a weird question. Oh god, please don't freeze. Oh god. And you, Emily. Oh. What do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. Right. But I'll put your lack of tact down to her disappearance. Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. Well, I didn't see that one coming. There's <laughs> no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. This inner right. dialogue. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? <sighs> My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Ooh. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around <laughs> without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And okay. I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. So there's a couple things that I'm really missing, or really just one main thing that I'm missing from the Telltale stuff is like, when you make a decision, knowing that it's a big deal or not, because what they've added in recent Telltale games is your story is changing or something like that, so you can tell it's a major decision. They've always had the Clementine will remember that or Lee will remember that type of thing, but the, it now they have a whole... You pick this, well, you're going to feel consequences of it. Like, they, they very distinctly tell you. This, you get nothing. You don't know what they're going to remember. So interesting. Okay. Do the others in the order know, do you think? What if, okay, let's try this one. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. 
As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Hmm. Let's show him the book. But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. I like his little bow tie. Careful, <laughs> they're coming back. Careful? Who are you? Is that Mortimer? No way. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> You seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Oh god, time to look, time to look. Right here. Oh, I guess I'm taking that one. The statue is impressive, and so are the paintings. Rubens, the Caravage, Gagnero. Lord Mortimer has very good taste, and the means to express it. Oh, I see our young sir is a connoisseur. Yes, in my spare time. Yet, I couldn't tell you who the artist of that painting there is. I think I recognize a theme, but the style intrigues me. I feel like Saturn I've seen that painting. devouring his son. Oh, well, you wouldn't know. The artist is none other than Lord Mortimer. I thought for a long time that the painting wasn't finished, but my old friend assured me it was. Still, there's no accounting for taste. Not very conventional, but it sure does hold your attention. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Are you rest drooling? Assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be Ah! The servant will accompany you to your room. So many opportunities missed because we don't have the proper skills. Oh, that bothers me. <laughs> okay, guys, so this was a different check of the council here, whether or not you choose to stay with Washington or go with home. Interesting. A little bit. I I feel like I'd have to play through this a bunch of times over to go ahead and see exactly what could all happen. And I'm really looking to you guys in the comments down below if you've played this before, if you've seen other playthroughs, to kind of give me an idea of all the different ways this could play out because <laughs> frankly it would be exhausting to go and replay and replay and replay and replay just to get like a bunch of different dialogue things and not know if they actually matter so i'm looking to see what you guys have to say in the comments down below i feel like this can kind of be a group effort so you guys let me know like i said and if you are enjoying these videos and you like to see these different checks to get like the general overall feel of the event in each order let me know i plan on doing the one where you can try to get some bangage up on Miss Duchess there <laughs> and I also plan on investigating a little bit more with Elizabeth Adams regarding whether or not you can protect her from getting beat up by the French dude so if you guys are enjoying these videos like I said let me know leave a like go ahead and sub that way you can see the rest of these as they come out as including episode two when that does arrive and we also stream here every single night at 10 p.m eastern on twitch so you can see all that in the description so thank you guys you're the best yeah. and I'll see you in the next video